All right, well, while those are washing, we're going to go ahead and start cutting some plants so that you can see the actual plant cutting and handling part. Um, remember that there were the two kinds of jars, the multiplying jars with uh, many plants in them and the rooting tubs uh, where we're going to put those plants. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to begin by taking the plants out of this jar. Uh, we're going to cut them on this plate and I'm going to put a few of the pieces from this jar into a brand new multiplying jar and then the rest of those plants I will divide into individuals and put them into a rooting tub. So I'll show you how to do this. This is the work environment. Instead of an expensive laboratory hood, I've been able to condense everything down to this plastic storage container. And the secret is really in the fact that I have found a preservative that allows us to do the tissue culture um, without as much risk of contamination. Even with that, we're going to still handle everything as clean as we can. Um, everybody here has been um, sprayed and wiped down with alcohol. And this is my scalpel and forceps. Uh, I'm using a vessel over here to hold those. And I'm going to go ahead and add, again, rubbing alcohol to these so I have a dip. And I'm going to go ahead and spray them. So those are clean. And then lastly will be the plate where we're going to do our handling. That only needs one spray. And then I'll wipe that quickly with a paper towel. So you don't spray the actual plastic tray? Uh, this one right here? Yeah. I've already done it. That's kind of what I was saying. It was, uh, uh, everybody here has been sprayed with alcohol. I'm just going to get the plate at the very last because it needs to be the cleanest. So this is pretty easy. Um, these jars are special and I've wrapped them with tape. So I'm going to open that up and watch this. With one hand, I'm going to open the jar. While it's tilted, I'll just grab one plant bunch, put it down here. You can see this guy has already started to grow roots because it's been in the jar a little while and the hormones started to wear off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to prune off some of those dark roots right there. And I'm going to prune away some of these yellow leaves because we don't need those. Just make it pretty, of course. These have been living in my car since December, so your plants will look much better. But the important part is, let's start dividing plants. You can see that there is sort of a natural division right down here. And I'm just going to split that and tear it apart. There we go. Now that's a plant piece that's so large, I'm going to have to save that to go into the rooting tub. So I'm going to put it over there. But I've got this piece, and it will be the first piece to go into our brand new multiplying jar. So I'll open that up, and it goes. It just touches the gel, and that's it. Your boat is 